Hi guys, welcome to Empower Your Body. I'm Alicia Kliegel. Today, in our Power 3, we're going to be doing our workout with a barbell. This was suggested by one of our viewers, CDNBLT. I thank you for watching, hopefully you'll continue. All the activities are gonna take place with this barbell. This is not a traditional barbell like the one that you put the weights on. It's the same thing though, it's long, it's heavy. You can do everything you need. This one is 18 pounds. I think they go up into the 20s with these. But you can use a barbell and put weights on the side. Be careful. Warm up prior to doing any of these exercises and always stretch. We're gonna do a clean and jerk. Then we're gonna do a crunch with the chest press. Then I'm gonna do a row. So we're gonna do all three of these activities back to back, three times, 10 repetitions each. Okay, so let's get started. With the clean and jerk, we're gonna come all the way down. You're gonna bring your barbell to the floor. When I squat down, guys, I'm hip width, my feet are straight, my ankles are under my knees, directly in line with my hips. Back is flat. I'm gonna come up, squat, curl, press. <sighs> Exhaling up. My form, <sighs> As you get tired, it's very common to do this. I don't want you guys to do that. Don't round your back, okay? Come, make sure you squat, boom. And exhale, and again. Again, depending on how heavy this is, you get more work out of it. And up, one more. I lost count, which is common. Then we're gonna come down. Let's put your legs in the air. We're gonna do a crunch and a press. Crunch and a press. I'm never really putting my head down. If your neck hurts, then you need to. And also, I just thought of an idea. You can always put it in one hand, support your head, but then that's a lot heavier in your arm. And again, one more, good. Now we're gonna do a row. Feet are hip width, flat back, row. I could do my hands in this position or I could do my hands in this position. This position you're gonna work your biceps more. This position you'll work your forearm muscles and your back. I mean, either way you're working your back. And again, right guys, I'm not like this, which hurts to even do. Stay like this. Almost like you wanna close a car door with your glutes. Good, and we're into it again, ready? Make sure you keep that back flat. If you have any trouble in your back, please be careful. And again, and again, and again. Now again, I could do this with anything. You can use dumbbells, a weighted ball, but our suggestion was, I'm going back down now, John. Um, our suggestion was to use a barbell. As high as you can go, get a chest press in. Good. Now, back to row. And I'll just switch my arm position. And again, so guys, you're using a lot of your lower body, even doing this exercise, as well as you're using your core. One more. Good, back down. I'm almost positive this is called a clean and jerk. Right when they're like, Hurrah! boom, and then they stay, and then lift it. And again, exhaling up. How are you guys doing today? Are you guys doing this with me? Are you saving it and then doing it later? Are you learning? Let me know, contact me. I'd like to know what you wanna see, what you think is beneficial. Do you think me explaining about form is beneficial? Or do you guys just wanna see the workout? Comment right below and let me know. Because when you do that, I do take them into account. I'll do the workout based on what you're looking for. 
and I'm always trying to make it to your liking. Unfortunately, I cannot take the work part away. Got to work. <laughs> and again, and again, and again. One more. Good. Drop it. Stretch out your arms a little bit. Those are three exercises that you can do with a barbell. Remember, there's tons of them, but those are your three barbell exercises. Please tune in at the end of the week still to get the answer that we left you with on Monday. Please don't forget to be well, eat well, drink plenty of water, and don't ever forget to empower your body.